Welcome back to the channel guys. We're going to do a little overview of everything I did on this ATV. All the stuff I've checked over, replaced, and fixed up. So let's dive in. First thing we did on the ATV was just give it a good once over and checking it out before we bought it. And then just checking over like drivetrain, engine, everything turns freely and is not in too bad of shape or doesn't need a whole bunch of repair. And then from there we went in, checked over in a little deeper once we got it. And this is everything we've done. So obviously the first thing we did was have to get a battery and then we could check the codes and see that everything operated properly. Then we replaced a leaking engine crank seal under this side cover. Um, there was a little bit of oil dripping down there and just some leakage. So we went ahead and replaced that because that was leaking. We changed the oil, put a new oil filter on it, new air filter, a uh, new spark plug, basically all the maintenance stuff. The starter solenoid was also bad so I went ahead and replaced that. We replaced the starter. That was caught up on the starter gear. So we have a new gear and starter in there. We replaced the speed sensor. Those often can get cracked if you get sticks up there or something gets up in there it'll crack that 90 degree plug down there. So we replaced that. We also replaced a bad wheel bearing. We tried fixing the gas tank here with some epoxy but that didn't turn out like I was expecting kind of the same thing that was already there before the epoxy kind of just peeled away and our tank is a little loose there so what I'm thinking for this is just getting a rubber tube that will sleeve this and then clamping that on there and that'll kind of give me the same effect that they have on the Altera models it is a rubber filler tube just clamped on both ends and that should solve that problem. I went ahead and painted the front bumper, the racks front and rear and got those looking nice. I also went in and checked the ignition coil and trimmed that wire back a little bit so we have a better connection there. Ignition coil to our spark plug and if you want to check out this video up here link it up there on how to do that. We also checked over the fuses and relays to make sure those were all good. There was one bad fuse, so got that replaced. I also checked the timing. That was okay. And the reason I checked the timing was this one time I had an ATV with a rebuilt engine and it wouldn't ever have full RPMs. It would idle okay and put around the yard fine, but you could never rev it up or get it to go anywhere too fast or have higher RPMs so it didn't act like it had any power. So I found out that the timing was slightly off which allowed it to run and idle and it could get around on its own but it would never get the full RPMs like it should. It would never get up to speed like if you wanted to go trail riding or anything. It would just put around so that's why I checked the timing. On this one it was okay. So we put it all back together with the top end there and came to find out that the fuel injector was bad when I tested that. So we have a new fuel injector that seemed to solve our issue with the low idle. Now when I first started it, it would have enough fuel pressure from the fuel pump to let it idle, but not enough to rev it up. That means the injector wasn't firing, come to find out, and it wouldn't get the RPMs up because it only had the fuel pump pressure running it. So now the injector's firing, we have full RPMs, we've got our fuel pressure at the proper pressure, so now it's time to put this together and get it out on the trails. So that's everything I've checked over and replaced and fixed on this ATV. Be sure to subscribe and follow along and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.